So nothing major has changed in the last couple of days. I have changed the interface slightly. You still run the command from the script menu. Create weekly invoices. And this is the one that will help you create invoices for an entire week very quickly. It's changed somewhat. Now I have these two lists here and you just transfer between the list, the first list and the second list. And you notice as you select them they'll disappear there and appear in the second list. This is going to be the list of products that you plan to create invo invoices for this week. You can select more than one if you like. We could just select three in a row by holding down the shift key. Or you could hold down the control key and select multiple items that way. Then you hit the little right arrow and things go over to the right. Now if you decide, for instance, that you don't want broccoli, you could hit the left arrow and broccoli will be removed from the list of items to be used for creating invoices for the week. Um, I've also, I fixed a bug so that you really, if you want to if you want to create invoices for um, week, say, 325, this is week 325, so any date within that week will work. So you can just hit the Create button when you're ready, because it by default selects today's date. Um, or if you want to pr uh, select another week, you could select any of the dates in this week, which would be 326, 327, and so forth. Okay, once you've got a date, that you want and the items, the product items, then you hit the create button and things proceed pretty much as they did before. I've added this little um, message down here. Now, if, remember the things that need to be done in advance of using this are adding uh, fields to the product table. So you know what the field specifications are and it's okay to have more than one field spec for a given product. And that will that will save you a lot of time of putting in all those field specifications on invoice. You need to deal with the delivery day and the invoice items. Now the delivery day is the day of the week. Effort into that. And the dates will be correct. I found there's a little offset depending on the day which January 1st falls on. Well, it fell on a Tuesday this, this year. So I put a little correction of 2 in for 2013. So that, it, that bug is fixed. Um, now these are the invoice items. They ought to be pretty stable for the uh, CSA customers. And uh, for the market customers, you can decide that uh, based upon what happened last week. And you can change this number based upon the ex expected sales in the farmers market for the following week. So you should change that each week before you create invoices. And that's pretty much it. Those three configuration changes, um, I won't reiterate what the prepaid is, but that, you know, true for prepaid customers falls for, for customers that are market customers. But anyway, the, the new ones are delivery day and invoice items. If you do not put in a valid day, uh, the system will skip that, that customer for the week, and it will put a little error message down there. Um, so for instance, if we forget um, to put in a day, or if we put in a word like XXX or something like that. Then let's see what happens. We'll create weekly invoices and we'll do it for the following week. Okay, so we'll just select some products here, send them over, and we're going to select any day within this week and then we'll create. 
you'll see a little error message will come up here because of that configuration. So we only got 12 invoices this way, this, this time. And it's saying BFM market was skipped because delivery day in customer's worksheet is not entered. So it discovered that. And um, so you need to put in a delivery day for each one of them. Now what happens if we leave one of these blank? Uh, what if we put in X over there? Okay, we can release that. It stays up for 60 seconds. Now what if we put some garbage over in invoice items? We'll create weekly invoices. We'll do it for yet the following week. Okay, we'll select, select some products, put them in there, and oh, let's not put the coffee in. I'm just showing you that you can just how these, it's called a list builder, how that works. So I'm going to choose something in this week. So that should be 327. And we hit create. Uh, that little X there, invoice items and customer worksheet is not a number. So you've got to put numbers in all of these for the system to be able to generate one of these automatic invoices. So you could uh, correct that problem and just run it. So we can, I'm, I'm expecting to see only one invoice created and it will complain that the other invoices already exist. So one invoice was created and these, all the other ones were skipped. The reason they were skipped was because header files already existed for those for week 327 for all those other customers. But there wasn't one for CFM CSA because, by virtue of the fact that we put in an X. I put in an X before. So this should work better for you. I always like to get the error detection in there. Um, so um, you can go ahead and copy this again and get this later version. I don't think you would have wasted your time if you copied it before. We do need to discuss how to copy data from, uh, you know, if you've, you've got data that you want to save for the first two weeks, we can just copy that information from the headers and sales. Everything you would need would be in what, 325 and 326. So we could just copy that data. In fact, if you were to make a copy of the new invoice dev and you wanted to copy this worksheet to another, another spreadsheet, you could do a copy to and you can select the name of the spreadsheet that you'd like to copy that worksheet to. And so you could copy it to say invoice test and you could select that and even though invoice test already has a headers file um, the new worksheet will be entitled header a copy of headers so there's no problem you're not going to clobber any pre-existing data that exists there so here's invoice test hopefully we'll get the problems ironed out and we'll come up with an efficient system and we can start working on uh, on getting reports and doing management of okay but anyway what am I trying to find here I'm trying to find this guy's always defeating me I guess it's just waiting I don't see the tabs I want to see the tab down here all right
Okay. So there's a copy of headers. So it did not overwrite headers. That's all I was trying to tell you. All right. So we'll call this quits. And I would suggest copying invoice dev. I'll send you an email about this new video.